welcome back to Colter Travel. We're currently boarding the plane. This time it isn't just me, it's this guy and this guy. So it's back to Lennon. I'm this is Bodhi. This is Mum. I'm still the star guy. There's Lennon. You remember him from India. Yeah, you remember. And then the new star of the show. The new star of the show is Cree. Okay, me and Bodhi have got the very back seats. Bad idea. No window. Bang. Right, we have landed at Barcelona Airport. Good thing we're getting off the plane last is the kids just have the whole area to themselves. Run, baby, run! Just letting all their energy out. Hello, YouTube! <laughs> Okay, we are now having breakfast in the Frugelio Hotel. This is on our way down to... Where are we going down, boys? To? We are going to the river. Look, this is a lovely view. Lovely views from every window. Oh, yeah. Not the biggest pool in the world, but yeah, this place is very cool, like an old castle. So we've just stopped our cool little services. We're about halfway of our journey from near Barcelona to Alicante, Spanish service station. Has a really cool big pot of paella cooking. Okay, this is our first meal down by the beach in El Panet. Both the boys are having calamari a la Ramona. Cree is under the table, he likes it under there. In Spain, the kids stay up late. Can't see them on here, but there's lots of children playing on the promenade down here. It's midnight. They don't go to bed till about two in the morning because they're all on their holidays as well. Just down there is the sea where we were having dinner earlier. Bit hot for a run this morning, 31 degrees. But it's worth it to see these. Walk to the beach in 41 degree heat. Bodhi's not happy because he's wearing a hat. Bubby's excited. This is our little beach set up for today. Lennon's knackered because he's been doing a lot of swimming with me, jumping over the waves. Sand everywhere, but we'll wash it off. Bodie, you coming in? Bodie don't like the beach. Bree's playing in the sand. It's going to taste nice. It's going to taste nice and fresh because it's right off the bone. Okay, it's a nice fresh. Uh, nice fresh parmesan. What is it? Serrano Jamon? Yes, just a nice that stuff. Okay. We're looking forward to it, aren't we? Yes. We are currently in Alicante. Bodhi's finished his whiskey, aka iced tea. I'm not sure what Lennon's doing. Cree's watching some telly to keep him amused. We are in this restaurant which I highly do not recommend. We got a taster menu and it was just a load of ch crisps, <laughs> some ch chips, one bit of meat. Um, yeah. Lennon's made a gourmet meal, but Alicante is definitely one of my favorite cities in Spain nonetheless. The Colter boys love it. It's just got a real nice buzz about it. Lovely old buildings everywhere. And kids do enjoy it, don't they? For a city break, they seem to like it here. Are we going for a little walk? Yeah. Yeah. Say hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. We're just going for a little walk down this area here. Bodie Lennon, what have you just had to eat? 
talk about. about we're talking okay, about dear, we're talking about how my friend Amelia keeps swearing at me and my friend. Well, not my friend. Oh, what's this? Hello. <laughs> Throw it, throw it, throw it. Yay! Didn't get it. Free. Mm -hmm. Say bye bye, YouTube. Bye bye, YouTube. Just come for a nice morning coffee by the sea. Trying anchovies at tapas for the first time. What's that one? Crab salad. It's Saturday, so it's a cheat day. I've tapped bread at coffee. And see Ali on. I do want some of that coffee. Just chilling by a lovely little spot near El Panet. Having a nice cold beer. Because if you come to this bit down near, there's a place down there called Galacio. So you can just go and buy a drink. The sea's really nice and clean here. You can park your car over the back behind this here. There's lots of parking. Yeah. This is, is it fun here, Lennon? Huh? Fun? We've built Babitron. Yeah, one minute. We've built Babitron, a really big castle. Yeah, it's, it's much nicer than the other. The other bit of beach is down there. You don't want that. This is much nicer up here. Okay. Was that fun? Tonight we are in Santa Pola. We've just had a bit of a tapas. Yeah. YouTube, if you actually watch our videos, you'll remember this. Miriam, Miriam, Lennon, hey, may got a hook. Say in the comments what that means if you actually watch our videos. We're now trying to find an ice cream parlor. That looks nice. No, trust me. These are the yogurt ones, not the ice cream. Because it's Saturday night cheat night. So we're all just strolling down the street Ola. We've had too much tapas and we're in a bit of a carb hell. <laughs> Back there is an aquarium, which I didn't film in because it's very hot and very busy, but it's free, quite a good place to take the kids. So that's the aquarium in Santa Flora. With a big octopus in it and a tank about that um, wide. A tank about that wide and that tall. Yeah, it's a big cool. octopus. This is Luis Baldo in Santa Pola. Una cerrada pequeña. Mine? Loads of ice cream, all kinds of different crazy flavours. Pistachio, tiramisu. What one are you getting, Lennon? Coffee. Huh? Coffee. You're getting coffee? Okay. What one are you getting, Bodhi? Chocolate. Crema Catalana. It's my personal favourite. We got some messy bambinos. Say cheese. <laughs> Oh, you've got a little hideout for your guys again. That is very cool. Don't let this blow away. No, it's Yes. I'm on the back. Bodie and Lennon are out there somewhere on there. There you go. I don't know. Okay, tonight in Spain is like... Um, Easter weekend. What is it called? The Assumption of Mary. That's on Tuesday. So all the kids come out all, like fireworks night in um, England. Better not film kids too much. 
but there's loads of kids down there, loads of kids down there. Our kids here. And just fireworks going off, like bonfire night in England. in for our second to last meal. The Bambino is a sleepino. Uh, Lennon is drawino ing I'm waiting for a nice cold birio. And we, for the first time ever, have a reserve of Ardo. Coolio. Ciao, yo. Adios. Adios, Telefonica America. made a friend from Wales so that's good that keeps her occupied sometimes women like a chin wag and she's got young kids who creak and play with bodie has gone for a walk down to the beach which I've let him do and it makes him feel old because we have all this morning had a bit of a row where everyone was just them four older boys were arguing I snapped a little bit and was like oh why are you not you know it happens towards the end of a holiday you just kind of you're patient the whole time trying to manage it but I have found a good thing that works now where well it's kind of working where the boys need a bit of a reward a bit of purpose so we're giving them 10 pound each a day anything they do wrong a pound comes off and it doesn't go back so starting an argument pound off things like that Bodhi lost a whole fiver last night on the way back for the restaurant because he just got really moody didn't want to be in the restaurant anymore and so the moral of the story is it really isn't easy traveling with kids but it's also amazing because you just get time to spend like i've really bonded with creed a lot more on this trip because he's only little still and you know most of the time when he's active and about i'm at work weekends are taken up with the older boys a lot of the time and creed just sort of has to join in but so it is nice it's well worth it a family trip abroad but it's certainly not easy reward charts things like that that all helps i think have giving them a little reward making sure they plenty of exercise trying to get them to eat healthy food on holiday can be tricky but it's worth it they remember these trips for the rest of their life so you've got to try not to be too harsh on them because they also remember that but the fun of raising kids unfortunately i don't have all the answers um that's just the way it is but it's definitely a lot easier when you just go with one kid like me and Lennon still hard but then saying that times like now I get to sit here and sunbathe for a bit while 
all the kids are actually occupied, so coming away with your partner makes life a lot easier. Anyway, tomorrow we drive back towards Barcelona, stopping in a place called Penis Cola. Penis Cola. Uh, so we'll do some filming there. Then we're going to wake up the next day after that. Barcelona, look around the city of Barcelona, and then back to Heathrow. Bye for now. Bodhi's little walk out on his own turned into an epic hike by the looks of things. He's been gone for about an hour and uh, had to come and find him. He's been off down the nature trail. <laughs> Gotta go for dinner now. Hola. That is the flamingos over there, chilling in the lake. Well, wow, that geyser was grumpy. There they are. If you're a lover of flamingos, come to El Panet. You right, mate? Yeah. Been on an exploration? Through the sand, you're sweating. <laughs> you donut. Come on. Oh my god, and you're sunburnt. Am you're I? sweating. Have you just been running back? No, I ran on the way there and along for them walks back. Good boy, this is the exercise we like to see. How long was I gone for? About an hour. Long walk. This is for YouTube now. Yeah. Took a big walk off my own. The boys. I made a YouTube video on it. Cool. We'll put that on here maybe. Yeah, put. Oh, I don't walk in that pool. Oh, it's a lovely trail though, that one, isn't it? Yeah. Quite long. Yeah, long, hot. I've done this in I the didn't morning. Know you could go another way, that way takes you, that way takes you to the beach. Eventually, it takes a while though. So I kept going straight, and I got to the beach. Yeah, well, you've done well. Good effort, mate. Good effort. Thanks. Let's get back and get something to eat. Flamingos. Yeah, if you love flamingos, come to El Panet. You won't be disappointed. I'm really thirsty. Yeah, right, let's get you back. Sports on your roast, but there's no sign of water. Yeah, there's nowhere that way. No. There's all kinds of lovely birds in there, but the flamingos are the one that everyone comes here for. No. Anyway, Hi. off to dinner at a place called Gran Alicante now, which is, um, it's a bit, it's not like as nice as the, as the seaside ones, but the food we had at the seaside one last night was pretty gross. So. Yeah. Gran Alicante's a bit more fun for the kids because there's some rides and bits and bobs like that. So might film there, might not. Not much, much to show there really more. We'll see. Okay, bye for now. And we're out, bro. Yeah. We're now in Gran Alicante, which is a place where there's a lot of bricks abroad. That's how I would describe it. But the kids like it. The food is just like what it is, like a leisure park in England or something, all that kind of gear. But it's not too bad, um, but kids like it. So Lennon and Cree are now going to go on this little ride. Oh, yeah. Lennon was just practicing his Indian on the Punjabi waiters. Oh, yeah, they are speeding around the track. This is our hotel in Penis Cola. Me and Bodhi have got a room downstairs which is a bit trash with two single beds. But these guys at the Hotel Cabana have got the best view and room ever. And I'm hanging some washing out just to lower the tone. Right. No, you have to say hi YouTube. Okay, now you have to do a review. Bodhi and, Bodhi and Lennon have been out on their own down the front buying some toys for Babby. Now Babby's going to open it. Live on Bodhi's YouTube. Babby, you got to do a review. Come on, Disney collector here. Hi guys, Disney collector here. Who is it? You open it by doing that. Maybe I should open it. 
What a lovely spot for dinner. Oh, no, 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 we're not going there because you can't go there. Catch this on film then. Catch it. Catch this on film. You alright mate? Yeah. Brody's looking smart this evening. Ready for a nice meal. This is the best meal we've had so far. Omelette baguette. <laughs> Bodie's got an omelette baguette. We, me and Lennon have had all of Priest chicken nuggets. Hamburger. All of chicken nuggets of Priest. Some nice organic red wine for only 10 euros. And then look at this view. Pretty tranquilla place to have manquilla. Coca-Cola iced tea. <laughs> this castle in Penis Cola is very impressive. Where's mum? Where's mum? Someone's got to go help mum. Go help your mum now, Bodhi. With that push chair, go help your mum. Go and help your mum. Is this Yeah. The grass smells nice. Mum, Let's go find Zog then. It's nice and air cold in here. Oh, he just stopped. This castle in Penis Cola is pretty cool. There's a lighthouse. Don't sit in there. Bloody hell, that scared me. This is what happens when there's two parents. One of you has always turned the other one not to do something. Can't get up there today, but it's nice, but... You'll see my samurai sword in Pretty cool. ...that I'm gonna get on iDad. Uh, not sure about that. Yeah, I'm getting a samurai sword, me. I'm gonna... <laughs> Lennon. Give this man some euros. It's got some really nice sausage from over there. All different flavours. This place is a Ramo Jamo, but it's nice. More swords. Whoa. Me and Bobby are walking through the... Me and Bobby are walking through the streets of... Pepsi Cola. Is this for you? Yeah, we're walking through the streets of Penis Cola. Babby, do you like it here? It's pretty busy, isn't it? YouTube, I told you I'd get it. We've got your toy, don't worry, Babby. We just gotta get out of this busy town. Do you love it here? Yeah. This is a really cool little place to come, actually. Loads of nice shops and just a really pretty old medieval castle town. One of the nicest places I've been to in Spain. The boys have brought some weapons. Oh, he's got a real weapon. Training, training. You've got a training weapon. He's got Katana. a training katana. I've got a training. 
Bus fun. I, I don't have to do any tricks yet. <laughs> I'll teach him. They can't see us. Why can't they see us? Our last morning in Spain this morning. This lovely view of penis cola. That is not a drink I want to taste. Everybody's ready ish, waiting for the bambino to wake up in there. And we're probably gonna have some breakfast at this hotel and head to Barcelona, which we're gonna try and park right in the center of Barcelona, which could be madness, but we'll see. And then um, get on a rooftop tour around Barcelona, hopefully. See you there. <laughs> Union Jack over there. We're trying to, we've parked here by the port because it's still outside the city a bit, so it should make our life easier, hopefully. We've had a little two and a half hour journey from Penis Cola. Now we're trying to find a toilet. We've parked in a car park under there. We're hoping we can get the open top tour bus from here. These kids are very annoying. This is our last lunch in Spain. Lennon's fallen asleep at the table. So is Bodhi. We've had some nice food. Cruise asleep. asleep. Nice. Kind of ruins it. Stinks of weed like New York these days. Ruined by the stoners. Maybe they put all the stoners in one area. Oh, it stinks of it. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. Guys, come and stand here, because that is a picture. Okay. Where's mum gone? Babby's woken up in a foul mood. Lennon, what have you got? Churros. Churros and Nutella. Babby's being good, didn't want any. I'm being good and trying to resist the churros and Nutella. It's very tricky, but look at this view. Mm. Pretty cool, yeah? Stop in for a well needed beer before the airport. Okay, the reality of traveling as a family to lots of different locations is we've come to that point. Everyone's sick of each other. Coming to a massive hot city like Barcelona on the last day may not have been the best idea, but Babby's having the best time. We're just chilling. What are you doing? That's a bit of skin. I can't get it off. Oh. For his injury. Now we're going to the airport. Wish us luck. Okay, a good thing travel with kids there is that at Barcelona Airport, there's a little area round to the side and you go in there and then check in and there's hardly anyone there and you get through really quick with the kids. The only thing is this airport is the hottest airport I've ever been in. It's not, it's not hot at all. Well, Delhi, Delhi was nice and cool. I think it's just too big, all of this space. Oh, can you can you all comment saying, can you unban me? Because my channel got banded. She deserves banding, doesn't he, Bodhi? I got a new one. Brody's got a new one. Bo Bodhi ITC. Yeah, that's not bad. What is it? Stop advertising your own channels. Anyway, this is cold to travel. Dad, I'm anyway, travel. that's the end of the trip now. On our way back to Heathrow. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Me and Bodhi are planning to go to Nepal soon to hunt down some Gurkha yeah. museums. We'll see if we can do it. Bye for now.
ตายโอ้แก๊กคอยบอยก็รอนับไปจอยน์ Oh, he's feeling ill.